Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bite here with Vlogist Day 7. And uh, today was my first day of Dragonflight, which is a local um, convention that does a little bit of RPGs, a little bit of board games, a little bit of uh, role playing games. <laughs> Sorry, RPGs and role playing games. Uh, they do war games as well. Uh, which is kind of a thing out here where war gamers get together and they do uh, conventions. It's kind of a dying art, though. Um, so I arrived after work and was looking for my friends in the big hall. So it's mostly just one big hall in a small vendor space. And <laughs> they had hidden themselves away by the elevators on the other side. So we ended up playing a bunch of games. It was really fun. I got to play uh, Code Names from Czech Games Edition. Uh, my copy will be coming in any time now. So I was pretty excited to try that one out. I got real close to winning. I was the clue giver. And we unfortunately, on the ninth card, we got the, the spy or whatever the bad one was chosen. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I often kind of like in concept and mysterium and stuff, I mind meld with one person and you just have to hope that person has some like pull and they kept like talking him out of his brilliant deductions. I'm just going to call him brilliant. Um, so that was a lot of fun. We played uh, Daniel Solis's Trickster. Uh, we played a seven player game as my first game of it and we played the Tianzia. Uh, I think that's how you, Tianxi. Uh, the RPG characters, so um, that's a game that's a, it's a, sort of like a trick-taking or a climbing game where if I am the leader, I put any card out, and the second person puts a second card out, and that card determines the rules for the round, so if that card is the same type, everyone has to play the same type, and if it's the same color, everyone has to play the same color, and each card as you play it has like a special ability, um, so with seven players, I felt like maybe it was a little too light for us, but I'm so excited to play that four player and really see what will happen if we, you know, tear into it. I am really excited about that one. Uh, we played a very cool game of Shipyard. Um, my strategy went completely bust, but I got to watch a couple pretty interesting uh, strategies go off. We were a little worried that Shipyard didn't have as many strategies as we would have liked, but this was a whole new version, and it was very interesting to watch, so I was really glad. Uh, we finished up the night with, like, Red 7 or something similar. Um, very simple uh, vlog today. I will do something a little more in-depth probably tomorrow. Um, I just, it's so late again. You guys are probably counting the number of days in a row that I get home and start vlogging at 2 a.m. Uh, but the other thing that happened today, I got into kind of a conversation with people about, you know, like, I know that it's okay to be offended. It's okay to take offense to something and not need to change that something. Um, so there's a game, upcoming game, by the people who did Cards Against Humanity called Secret Hitler. And... It sounds like a really good deduction game. It sounds brilliant. I'm sure it's fantastic, but in no way, shape, or form am I going to, in a game, play Hitler. I'm not going to play pre-World War II Hitler. I'm not going to play any Hitler. I do understand a lot of people are like, no, this is representing like, the biggest, the baddest, the worst thing of them all. And I'm like, eh. I'd much rather play Boo Scary Monsters than Hitler any day, especially in a game that is not war-themed. I have a, an easier time understanding playing the Axis or Hitler or Germany in a game that's designed to simulate combat or simulate battles than I do in a deduction game that is made up where um, the, the thing you're trying to suss out is where Hitler is. Um, it just doesn't strike me well. I don't I don't care for it. And I know that there are reasons why that can exist and there is some shock value and there's plenty of people that will pay for it. But I really would not care to do that for myself. Um, if someone were playing that and they invited me into it, I may just have to less than polite, politely decline. But 
Um, that's just my take on it. Um, I, I'm curious as to where my lines are, because I never really know until I'm kind of confronted with something. New Bedford put whale song in their video for their Kickstarter, and I was like, you know what? I will never be able to back that Kickstarter that has whale song in it. It's about killing whales. Why would you do that? But I know that's not everyone's bag. I know that's not everyone's baggage. So I, I am curious where the line is. Archipelago was another one that just that rubbed me the wrong way. And that was a theme that I definitely traded away the game because of. So who knows? Maybe you have your own designated lines, but uh, I'd be very curious at knowing what they are. Uh, I will see you all later, and I will talk to you tomorrow.